हरि ओम भूर्भुवासुवा तत्सूर्वरेण्यम भागोदेवा धीम धीयो यो न प्रचोदयात् शांति 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 गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम बैक टू द बनादीरा आश्रम इट इज नाउ जस्ट अबाउट सन सेट एंड दिस इज दट वी कॉल संध्या द संध्या टाइम वेन द डे स्टार्ट टू टर्न इन टू नाइट एंड दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर मेडिटेशन दिस इज वेर पीपल स्टार्ट गेटिंग बैक टू दे होम lighting a little candle in front of the altar and settling the mind ready for meditation now gurudev um, baba hari harananda explained that meditation is a solitary process uh, of going deeper and deeper into the secrets of the soul that is found through this practice however there is also group meditation which is even more important and baba is very uh, insistent on this and he explains that if you are only meditating in your home the home is associated with many distractions so automatically your mind is making associations with different memories that are spread all over your home or oh, you're looking at the cat maybe he needs to have some milk you're looking at uh, Uh, the newspaper on the table uh, there are many different mm, sources of distraction in this way if and also the phone may be ringing someone may be knocking on the door endless uh, things like that if however you go to a place that's dedicated for group meditation once a week or twice a week then your mind has left all these associations in the home and is coming to a place that's only for this purpose so this is one of the reason why all the masters you always insist that you should uh, dedicate some time to group meditation the other reason is that it function as your support group okay uh, many people as they enter the spiritual path start to have some doubts some difficulties and they their doubts or their problems start to blow up in their imagination like anything but if you go to the group meditation and you talk a little bit with the other participants you realize oh i'm not the only one everybody is going through this and you get some uh, some reassurance that you are doing the right thing and that these by products of your mind are perfectly normal so that's another beautiful reason why to to meditate another reason why uh, we always encourage people to participate in group meditation has to do with some kind of spiritual mathematics if you want baba explains it like this if one person meditates alone they generate one unit of spiritual energy if however a group of people meditate together the effect is exponential it is not 1 plus 1 plus 1 it's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 so the whole group is uplifted by this spiritual energy that is why uh, usually you are able to attain much deeper level of samadhi when you are meditating in a group with the guidance of the recorded meditation for instance or with a person guiding there in front of you and <coughs> finally to illustrate uh, the power and the beauty of um, participating in a group meditation i like to tell you a little story if i'm allowed <laughs> Well, there was uh, a man who was in the habit of participating in a little group uh, meeting with his friends once a week, and they had kept up this habit for many years. However, after a while, this man uh, stopped participating in the group without any warning, uh, without telling his friends why he dropped out. So, one week is passing, two weeks, three weeks. After a month. one uh, of the friends of the group decided to go pay him a visit to see if he's all right if he needs anything so he sets off one evening to visit this uh, man who's not coming anymore it was a cold winter evening and as he arrives in front of his house through the window he sees his friend sitting in front of a beautiful fire in his living room uh, so he knocks on the window his friend sees him and he uh, gladly goes open the door and welcomes his friend knowing fully why why the friend has come and is expecting the question 
So they both sit in the living room, they are sipping their cup of tea, watching the fire and not saying anything. The host is waiting for his friend to say something and the friend is just watching the fire calmly. Ten minutes are passing like this and they settle into a very comfortable, beautiful silence. Fifteen minutes, half an hour. Then the uh, visitor goes up to the fire, he takes the poker and he takes one piece of uh, charcoal that was burning in the fire and he puts it a little bit to the side of the chimney. And he goes back and he sits down. The host is also watching and uh, without saying a word, fascinated by this, this act. And as they are both watching that little piece of incandescent uh, charcoal, they see it gradually, gradually losing its, br its brilliance, losing its flame, and gradually becoming a piece of black, silent, lifeless charcoal. And they continue watching like this for a while. Then the uh, visitor uh, gets ready to leave, but before leaving, he still hasn't said a single word, he takes the piece of black charcoal and he puts it back into the fire. And almost immediately, the charcoal catches fire again and is giving brilliant, beautiful illumination. And the host is smiling and he turns to his friend and he says, thank you very much for your visit, but especially thank you for the sermon. I got it. And they embraced and the visitor left. And the friend then went back and again attended the group. He realized through this very simple example that the beauty of life comes by association of love. If you separate yourself from this source of love, you start losing your own brilliance. But it's never lost forever. And all it takes is going back to that love, back to that source, to that group, to that energy, and very quickly you'll catch fire. So that is what I want to share with you. Now, actually, we are going to go into our meditation, so it's a very appropriate time for me to close. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Jai Gurudev.